Hello everyone, welcome back to Oni Chan. Today, we will watch the Demon Slayer anime together. Since ancient times man eating demons have appeared, they always lurk in the woods, and when night falls, they start to capture human and devour them, causing everyone to live in fear. However, there are still some special individuals, who have established an organization called the Demon Slayer Corps, always searching for and eliminating bloodthirsty demons, to save all people, helping humanity regain hope, that they too can defeat the evil demons. This boy's name is Tanjiro, his family lives on a remote mountain, because his father died early, Tanjiro lives with his mother and his siblings, though facing many hardships, Tanjiro's family was very joyful, at this moment, he had gone down to the town to sell charcoal, but when he returned, it was already dark, so, an old man advised him to stay at his house for the night, because demons would appear when it got dark, but by the next morning, when Tanjiro returned, he smelled blood, realizing something was amiss, he immediately rushed back home, and saw that his entire family had been killed, leaving him in despair, however, when he found out that Nezuko was still alive, Tanjiro immediately carried her and ran to the town, unexpectedly, Nezuko began to transform and attack Tanjiro, and he realized that his little sister had turned into a demon, she even become much stronger, when he tried to told, Nezuko not to give up, surprisingly, she heard him and take her mind back, suddenly, a demon slayer appeared and attacked Nezuko, he quickly captured her, at this point, he said that Nezuko could no longer be saved, while Tanjiro steadfastly insists, I will save her, he begged him not to kill Nezuko, which made him angry, he immediately scolded Tanjiro, cease your pitiful pleading, why not pick up your sword and fight to save your sister, when he attacked Nezuko, Tanjiro immediately took action, threw a rock and charged directly towards him, but he was easily defeated by him, unexpectedly, his axe flew in from behind surprising him, because he is very special, suddenly, Nezuko also stopped him, so Giyu realized that, instead of eating humans, she was protecting her brother, thus, Giyu decided to place his trust in the two siblings, at this moment, Tanjiro dreamt of his mother saying that, you must protect Nezuko, when Tanjiro woke up, Giyu told him to find a person named Yurokodaki on Sagiri Mountain, and he warned him not to let Nezuko be exposed to direct sunlight, then, Giyu immediately left, so, Tanjiro returned to bury his family, and following Giyu's instructions, the next day, Tanjiro made a basket for Nezuko, helping her avoid sunlight, and continued their journey to Mount Sagiri, by evening, Tanjiro smelled blood again, realizing the danger nearby, he immediately led Nezuko into a nearby temple, suddenly, they found a demon eating the human there, the demon attacked Tanjiro, but he managed to cut it, it was then that Tanjiro learned demons could heal rapidly, and were incredibly strong, despite Nezuko's hunger upon seeing a human, she quickly turned back to save her brother, even though the demon had lost its head, it still attacked Nezuko again, while Tanjiro is being captured by the demon's head, realizing that his sister was in grave danger, Tanjiro promptly headbutts the demon's head, and rushed to save his sister, unexpectedly, he fell into a ravine, but Nezuko managed to pull him back in time, as Tanjiro was about to finish him, an old man wearing a mask appeared, the old man recognized Tanjiro as a kind-hearted person, so he couldn't bring himself to kill a demon, suddenly, as daylight emerges, the demon immediately dissolves, leaving Tanjiro in shock, worried about Nezuko's safety, when he found that she's still safe, he quickly looked for the old man, and realizing that he was none other than Yurokodaki, he suddenly slapped Tanjiro. Yurokodaki criticized Tanjiro for being too weak and hesitant to kill a demon, and he reminded that do not let Nezuko harm humans. At this point, Yurokodaki instructed Tanjiro to follow him, but Tanjiro was surprised by Yurokodaki's really fast, leaving Tanjiro unable to catch up with him. When they reached a house at the base of the mountain, Yurokodaki announced that the real test was just beginning, causing Tanjiro to be surprised. Tanjiro left Nezuko at the house, and began the challenges on the mountain summit, he got himself constantly ensnared by traps, even the air is very thin, making him unable to breathe, however, he quickly learned to control his breathing, and find his way back to the house, because earlier, Yurokodaki had received a letter from Giyu requesting him to train Tanjiro, in the following days, Tanjiro dedicated himself to training, he becoming more agile, Yurokodaki also taught him the use of the sword, eventually, the control of breathing, to use the water breathing technique, suddenly, one day, the master said to Tanjiro, I have nothing left to teach you, this surprised Tanjiro, so Yurokodaki led him to a boulder, 
if Tanjiro could split the boulder in half. Thus, Tanjiro could participate in the final selection process. As soon as he finished speaking, he left, leaving Tanjiro alone with the boulder. Although he thought splitting the boulder was impossible, Tanjiro continued to train for it. More than a year has passed, since their Nezuko been completely fainting, so Tanjiro cannot give up. Suddenly, a masked youth with a wooden sword appeared, attacking Tanjiro, and also criticizing him, he said, you still haven't learned anything from the master, so, Tanjiro was struck by him until he passed out. When Tanjiro wake again, he saw another girl sitting beside him, at this moment, she told him, her name is Makomo and the guy is Sabi To. Both of them were disciples of Yurokodaki. From that night on, Makomo explained to Tanjiro how to control his breathing, to enhance his body's strength. In the morning, he trained with Sabi To, so six months passed, and Tanjiro decided to challenge Sabi To to a duel. Both of them used real swords in the fight. Surprisingly, Tanjiro emerged victorious, cutting through Sabi To's mask, bringing him great joy. Suddenly, both Makomo and Sabi To disappeared, leaving Tanjiro surprised, because the rock in front of him had been split in two. At this moment, his master arrived. He explained that he instructed Tanjiro to split the rock, to ensure that his disciple wouldn't have to face death in the final selection. But unexpectedly, he can do this. That night, his master cooked a delicious meal for Tanjiro, and gave him a peaceful mask as a gift. The next morning, as Tanjiro prepared to leave, he entrusted Nezuko to his master, and asked him to convey his gratitude to Sabi To and Makomo. This surprised him because Tanjiro knew the names of his two deceased disciples. When Tanjiro reached the final selection, two girls approached him and said, there are many demons being held captive here, and you must survive in this forest for seven days. Only then can you become a demon slayer. Upon entering the forest, Tanjiro immediately senses the scent of demons near him. When he is attacked, Tanjiro swiftly employs the water breathing technique, fourth form, and annihilate them. At this moment, Tanjiro realizes that, it is thanks to the Nishiran sword his master gave him, so he can kill the demons, because demons cannot be defeated with a regular sword. Suddenly, Tanjiro turns pale, upon spotting a demon with a grotesque appearance, but when he sees a young man in danger, he immediately rushes to attack the demon to save him, it's at this moment that the demon recognizes Tanjiro as a disciple of Yurokodaki. He was furious, because it was Yurokodaki who had brought him here. So, he hunted down over 50 of his disciples in this final test. When he found out that among them were Sabi To and Makomo, it immediately angered Tanjiro. He rushed to attack him, but was swiftly repelled, his mask shattered. When he thinking he was about eated Tanjiro, Tanjiro wake up just in time. Tanjiro continuously slashed off the demon's arms, and ultimately struck at his neck, to seek revenge for Sabi To and Makomo, making the demon recall the time he was captured, and his abandoned past. Unexpectedly, Tanjiro caught a whiff of his sorrowful scent. Tanjiro took the demon's hand, helping him remember his lost younger brother, so, he faded away. In the end, Tanjiro successfully avenged Sabi To, Makomo, and the others. In the following days, Tanjiro persistently questioned the demons, how to turn Nezuko back into a human, but with no result, finally, he overcame the seven-day trial. Tanjiro then discovered that only four people, two girls revealed that they had become demon slayers, and spread the news to everyone via a crow, but only this young man with blonde hair received a bird, suddenly, this guy turning to angry, he instructed the girl to immediately hand over the Nishiran sword to him, but Tanjiro preventing them, in the end, the two girls offered a metal ore to everyone, to forge swords for them, Tanjiro returned home in the evening, Nezuko had wake up, this brought him immense joy, because he f earing that she might never wake up again, that night, Tanjiro recounted everything to his master, at this point, he said to Tanjiro, the reason Nezuko sleeps is to replenish energy instead of consuming human flesh, and in the future, he will have to battle even stronger demons, most of them have possessed blood demon arts, leading them all was Muzan, he is the very first demon, the one who massacred Tanjiro's family. Only him knew how to turn Nezuko back into a human. Fifteen days later, Tanjiro's sword was delivered by the blacksmith Hotaru. Hotaru explained that the sword's color could change according to the user, and unexpectedly, Tanjiro's sword turned black, surprising them both as it had never turned black before. Suddenly, a crow arrived, delivering Tanjiro's first mission, in a village to the northwest, because many young girls had gone missing. Tanjiro started wearing the Demon Slayer uniform, and his master also gave him a wooden box, to ensure Nezuko's more safety. 
So, he bid farewell to Yorokodaki, beginning his journey, at this moment, Tanjiro have reaching the village, he found Kazumi, his soon-to-be wife was just kidnapped last night, and her father had beaten him severely, Tanjiro, detecting the scent of demons, began tracking their traces, by nightfall, when the demon captured another girl, Tanjiro immediately sensed it, promptly rushing to her aid, at this point, Tanjiro smelled the demon underground, so, he immediately launched an attack, inflicting pain on the demon and rescuing the girl, as soon as he raised his head, he fled, so, Tanjiro continued to sense the surroundings, just as he was about to attack, unexpectedly, three demons seized Tanjiro, immediately, he used the eighth form, severing their hands, making them very uncomfortable, and the demon immediately blamed Tanjiro for ruining his delicious meal, so, Kazumi asked him about the whereabouts of his yet-to-be-married wife, upon seeing the demon's collection, and Tanjiro realized that he had consumed a significant number of people, including Kazumi's lover, Tanjiro became furious and initiated an attack, when he was ambushed, Nezuko immediately kicked the demon in the neck, surprising the demons, unexpectedly, a demon slayer and a demon teamed up together, at this moment, Nezuko is treating humans very gently, because before leaving, Yorokodaki had enchanted Nezuko, that humans are her family, and demons are enemies, when she attacked the demons, they fled away, suddenly, another demon attacked, so Tanjiro asked Nezuko to protect them, and he will dealt with the remaining two of them, at this point, they were confident that Tanjiro would have a hard time moving in their swamp, but they were wrong, however, Tanjiro had trained extensively, and this environment enables him to unleash the full power of his water breathing techniques, so, Tanjiro successfully defeated them, and Nezuko also very strong, easily shattering the remaining demons, making him think that she must have consumed a considerable amount of blood, so, the demon was determined to defeat Nezuko, but Tanjiro intervened in time, preventing him from acting on it, realizing that his two dim-witted teammates had been defeated, the demon grew furious, when Tanjiro questioned him about information on Muzan, the demon became terrified, because he unable to reveal anything about Muzan, when he desperately attacked Tanjiro, he was immediately defeated by Tanjiro, at this moment, Tanjiro noticed Nezuko was sleeping to regain her strength, bringing him relief, while Kazumi is in great agony over the loss of his yet-to-be-married wife, Tanjiro tried to console him, Kazumi shout that he didn't understand anything, but upon seeing Tanjiro's gaze, recognizing that he had experienced something even more horrifying than himself, Tanjiro is currently worried about how to find Muzan. The crow advises him to immediately go to Tokyo, upon arriving in Tokyo, he's like a country boy in the big city, marveling at everything. As he was about to eat a bowl of noodles, he immediately smelled of Muzan, so he immediately chased after him, at this moment, Tanjiro has found him, just as he was about to attack, he discovers that Muzan is playing the family game, making Tanjiro unable to strike, suddenly, Muzan turns a passerby into a demon, to cause chaos and escape, leaving Tanjiro helpless, because he can't leave this young man to chase after Muzan, the police then run over to arrest Tanjiro, unexpectedly, he is helped by a girl, she reveals that she is also a demon and wants to destroy Muzan, meanwhile, Muzan has already taken his wife and child home, and intended to return to find Tanjiro, upon discovering Tanjiro's pair of Hanafuda earrings, identical to the person who had nearly killed him, unexpectedly, he encounters a group of drunkards blocking his path, so he swiftly deals with them, and orders his subordinates to go and eliminate Tanjiro, when Tanjiro returns to the noodle shop, he was immediately scolded by the shop owner, in response, he quickly ate two bowls of noodles, making him very pleased, as he leaves, he encounters this guy again, leading two of them to the doctor's place, Tanjiro is surprised to discover that she is a demon, she even can take care of human, at this point, she introduced herself as Tamayo, and this young man is Yushiro, so, she told Tanjiro that, Tamayo had modified her body to escape Muzan's curse, and she doesn't need to consume human flesh to survive either, when he knew that Tamayo could turn Yushiro into a demon, because he was suffering from a terminal illness, so, Tanjiro immediately pleaded with her to turn Nezuko back into a human, but Tamayo hasn't been able to do that yet, she proposed two conditions to Tanjiro, first, let her study Nezuko's blood, second, he must obtain the blood of demons as powerful as Muzan, only then could they research that miraculous medicine, seeing this as an opportunity to save his younger sister, Tanjiro have agreed, suddenly, the house was attacked, by two subordinates of Muzan, at this moment, a demon immediately used two balls to throw at the house, 
and managed to defeat Yushiro. Tanjiro then began to counterattack against them, but her balls can move freely on their own. Meanwhile, Yushiro recovered. At this moment, she said she is the 12 Demon Moons, one of Muzan's strongest 12 subordinate demons, and she even grew six additional arms, leaving Tanjiro surprised. She continued her assault on them. When Tanjiro was facing difficulties, Yushiro immediately gave him a talisman, helping him to see the arrows controlling the balls. Nezuko also ran out to find the one controlling. So, Tanjiro could easily intercept the balls, and cut off her arms, but she quickly regenerated. Unexpectedly, Nezuko was also knocked over here, so both of them changed opponents, even though Tanjiro could see the arrows, but still couldn't avoid his attacks, while Nezuko and Yushiro teamed up to resist the demon girl. But when Nezuko kicked her ball, she lost a leg, so Tamayo immediately injected a super warrior vaccine for her, and Nezuko saw her resemblance to her mother. Meanwhile, Tanjiro couldn't cut his arrows, so he decided to control the arrows along his water flow. At last, Tanjiro managed to defeat him, surprisingly, before dying. He continued to attack Tanjiro. After a while of struggling, he finally faded away. Fortunately, Tanjiro is still alive, but he was exhausted. He could only hold the sword in his mouth and search for Nezuko. As for Yushiro, when he was in danger, Nezuko timely rescued him. So, Nezuko continuously kicked back against the balls from her, making her very surprised at Nezuko's strength. Suddenly, Tamayo stood up and said, Muzan is just a coward, which made her angry, because he dared to insult Muzan, whom she worshipped, but unexpectedly, she was hypnotized by Tamayo's fragrance, so that she would reveal Muzan's secret, causing her to be killed by Muzan's curse. At this moment, Tamayo let Tanjiro know, she is not one of the 12 demon moons, because the 12 demon moons have their rank engraved on their eyes, and these demons are too weak, which surprised Tanjiro, because they are low-level demons but managed to give him a tough fight. Seeing Nezuko still healthy at this point, Tanjiro felt relieved, and Nezuko hugged Tamayo and Yushiro tightly, leaving her surprised, because even though they are demons, she still considers both of them as her family, so, she was very happy. At this point, Tamayo suggested to Tanjiro to let Nezuko stay with her, going with him would not be safe, but Nezuko and Tanjiro refused, because they didn't want to be separated again, so, they bid each other farewell, and Tanjiro continued his mission, reaching another village. Unexpectedly, he encountered a young man who was pretending to be in distress force a girl to marry him. Tanjiro recognized this young man. He is the guy who had passed the exam with him, turns out. The girl just found him pitiable. When she decided to help, the young man immediately pressured her to marry him. After receiving a few slaps, the young man blamed Tanjiro for ruining his plans. Tanjiro learned that his name is Zenitsu. He is a coward guy, seeing Zenitsu hungry. So, Tanjiro gave him a portion of his own meal. They then decided to undertake the next mission together. Upon arriving at a house in the forest, they encountered two frightened children. At this point, the two children informed Tanjiro that their older brother had been captured by demons in this house the night before. Suddenly, someone managed to escape, but he also died. When realizing that there were still many people inside, so, Tanjiro immediately pulled Zenitsu along with him, and left Nezuko to watch over the kids, unexpectedly. When they entered, the two kids followed as well, suddenly, Tanjiro and Zenitsu were separated, and Tanjiro discovered that a demon was controlling the house. While Zenitsu was frightened, he kept clinging to the little boy, causing the little boy to also look down on Zenitsu. So, he immediately stood up and looked for a way out, suddenly, he saw a pig-headed guy running around causing Zenitsu to be frightened. Meanwhile, as Tanjiro rushed to attack the demon, he unexpectedly reversed the room. Suddenly, the pig-headed guy also appeared, and attacked him, so, he continuously flipped the room upside down. Tanjiro realized that he was also a demon slayer. Unexpectedly, the pig-headed guy also wanted to fight Tanjiro, but he was stopped by the demon, and he continuously attacked both of them, when being teleported to another room. Tanjiro realized that the demon controlled the house with the sound of the drum. At this point, Tanjiro used his sense of smell to locate him. He accidentally stumbled upon the older brother of the two children. So, Tanjiro immediately treated the wounds of the little boy, and found that there were three demons in the house. Turns out, they are fighting over the little boy, because he possesses a rare type of blood that can significantly enhance demon's strength. Fortunately, he managed to snatch the drum and escape. Meanwhile, Zenitsu, still frightened, he encountered another demon, 
so both of them hurriedly ran away, when they were being cornered into a room by him, Zenitsu fainted from fear, making the little boy think they were about to die, when the demon attacked them both, suddenly, Zenitsu quickly cut the demon's tongue, so, he started using the thunder breathing technique seriously, and defeated him at a very fast pace, leaving the little boy surprised, but when Zenitsu came to his senses, he thought the little boy had killed the demon and saved him, while the pig-headed guy encountered another demon, and he easily defeated him, by using his beast breathing, at this point, the boss of the house, he is trying to find the boy and eat him, to reclaim the title of lower moon demon, because he was too weak, he was stripped of it by Muzan, suddenly, he has found Tanjiro, and continuously attacks him, but he was still injured, so he moves with difficulty, and kept being spun around by him, however, Tanjiro is determined not to surrender the boy to him, making him furious, so, the demon intensified his attack on Tanjiro, and he remembered his past, he was a writer, but all the works he wrote were criticized, even worse than toilet paper, while Tanjiro was being continuously spun around, but, he still tried to avoid without stepping on his works, surprising him, so, Tanjiro began to combine his footsteps with his breath, reaching and defeating him, before dying, Tanjiro complimented his blood demon art as very great, surprising him that someone acknowledged his talent, at this moment, Tanjiro didn't forget to take the blood of the demon, to send to Tamayo's cat for research, then, Tanjiro took the kids outside, however, as soon as he stepped outside, he saw the pig-headed guy attacking Zenitsu, to protect Tanjiro's box, he knew it very important to him, because Zenitsu has very sensitive hearing and can hear everything, knew there was a demon inside Tanjiro's box from the beginning, but still insisted on protecting it from the pig-headed guy, when the pig-headed guy was about to attack Zenitsu, making Tanjiro angry, he immediately rushed to punch and break three of his ribs, so, he immediately attacked Tanjiro, at this point, Tanjiro realized he resembled a wild beast, and no matter what they say, he wouldn't stop, so, Tanjiro headbutted him, surprising Zenitsu, because his body was male, but his face looked like that of a girl, this caused him to faint, when Inosuke regained consciousness, he immediately wanted to continue fight with Tanjiro, but Tanjiro challenged him to bury the people here, in the afternoon, Inosuke continuously practiced headbutting to prepare for another fight with Tanjiro. After bidding farewell to the kids, they immediately descended from the mountain. At this time, Inosuke insisted on challenging Tanjiro to a fight. So, the trio of comedians was formed. In the evening, the crow led them to a resting place for demon slayers. Here, there is an old lady taking care of them very enthusiastically. This made Zenitsu think she was a demon. While Inosuke kept mocking Tanjiro, in the evening, Inosuke told both of them, that he grew up on the mountain, accidentally discovered the final selection, so he joined in and became a demon slayer just for fighting, suddenly, Zenitsu asked Tanjiro why he was traveling with a demon, so, Tanjiro thanked him for protecting the box for him, at this moment, Nezuko also stepped out, frightening Zenitsu, but upon seeing her, the guy immediately got angry and blamed Tanjiro, because he had shed blood to protect the box, to let Tanjiro hide together with a girl, but when he found out that Nezuko was Tanjiro's younger sister, then the young man immediately accepted being a brother-in-law, at this point, when the wounds of all three had healed, so, the crow continued to assign the task to the entire group to go to Mount Natagumo, they bid farewell to the old lady and departed, by nightfall, they all arrived at the foot of the mountain, and they discovered a wounded demon slayer, but immediately, he was captured and pulled back inside, while Zenitsu is very frightened, Tanjiro and Inosuke ran up the mountain, at this moment, they discovered that there were a lot of spider webs on the mountain, suddenly, Tanjiro spotted another demon slayer, and learned that 10 people had been dispatched to here, unexpectedly, they were being controlled by the demon to attack and kill each other, and they were captured by the demons, only this guy managed to escape, at the demon slayer core headquarters at this moment, realizing the enemy was 12 demon moons, so, they sent two pillars to confront them, which were Giyu and Shinobu, as for Zenitsu, he was still terrified, realized that Tanjiro brought Nezuko along, therefore, Zenitsu immediately chased after Tanjiro regardless of his fear, at this moment, while Tanjiro was surrounded, he decided he would fight back against them, and Tanjiro discovered they were being controlled by the threads, so, Inosuke also assisted in cutting off those threads, realizing that these small spider were released by the puppeteer, so, he decided to find the one controlling them, unexpectedly, another person appeared, he said, my mother will kill all of you, after that, he departed, 
Meanwhile, Anosuke was unleashing his beast breathing, in order to find the location of the demon controller. When he discovered her location, Murata has hold foot those people here, to allow Tanjiro and Anosuke to run to her location. Suddenly, they were intercepted by another girl. As for the demon's mother at this moment, Rui arrived and told her to quickly finish everything. Otherwise, I will go talk it to father, immediately causing her to be frightened and obey. So she continuously controls the girl to attack Tanjiro, seeing them in pain, causing Tanjiro to be unable to bear it. So he came up with a way to hang all of them upside down on the tree branches. She could no longer control them, angered, she immediately killed all of them, but this also made Tanjiro angry. So he decided he would find her, unexpectedly, she used a headless demon puppet to block their path. When Inosuke is facing danger, Tanjiro immediately helped him. So both of them cooperated with each other, and they defeated that puppet. Suddenly, Inosuke threw Tanjiro into the air. So he managed to smell out her location. While she was frightened, unexpectedly, she decides not to resist anymore, to allow Tanjiro to help her gain freedom, because she is always abused and beaten by her husband here, and Rui just stood there looking coldly. At this moment, when she saw Tanjiro's gentle eyes, then she immediately remembered the eyes of her own mother, so she revealed to Tanjiro that there are 12 demon moons here, making him surprised, so he went back to find Inosuke. As for Zenitsu at this moment, while still frightened, searching for everyone, unexpectedly encountered a human-faced spider, causing him to be scared, he ran away immediately, suddenly, he discovered that there are many people being captured here, at this moment, another spider demon appeared from inside the house, he said that Zenitsu has been poisoned by him, so he will transform into a spider in the next 30 minutes, made Zenitsu frightened and climb up a tree, so he remembered his master, often make him train, because the young man couldn't bear it anymore, he also hid on the tree, but unexpectedly, he got struck by lightning, turning his hair yellow. At this moment, when Zenitsu saw his hair falling out, he immediately passed out. Suddenly, Zenitsu has changed, and immediately rushed towards him, making him surprised and stopping Zenitsu in his tracks. Because Zenitsu can only use one technique in the thunder breathing, so the master told him to train it to the highest limit. Although always looked down upon by his senior brother, and he's just a coward, but the master still has a lot of trust and trains Zenitsu, at this moment, because he was poisoned, the spiders captured him, when he thought winning was too easy, unexpectedly, Zenitsu began to use the thunder breathing, and dealt with him at a very fast pace, causing him to be unbelievably shocked even in death, but the poison inside Zenitsu's body still remains, so he controlled his breathing, slowing down the development of the poison, unexpectedly, Shinobu appeared just in time, as for Tanjiro and Inosuke at this moment, when they arrived at a stream, they encountered Rui's sister and father, so both of them were immediately attacked by him, but his body is very taut, so both of them couldn't cut through, at this moment, Tanjiro cut down a nearby tree to hold him back, unexpectedly, he stood up and immediately hit Tanjiro fly away, and continued to attack Inosuke, at this moment, Tanjiro promptly utilized the water breathing technique to gain footing, Suddenly, he saw Rui torturing his older sister, causing Tanjiro to become furious, accusing him of having a fake family, he said, say that again for me, suddenly, another guy appeared, intending to attack by surprise for a promotion, so, he was killed by Rui, at this point, Tanjiro realized that he couldn't immediately return to where Inosuke was, because this guy was very powerful, meanwhile, Inosuke was evading the spider father, but he was quickly found by him, so, Inosuke didn't bother to run away anymore, turning back to confront him solo directly, using the combined force of both swords, so, Inosuke managed to cut off one of his arms, unexpectedly, he immediately turned and fled, you can't escape from me, son, but when Inosuke found him, he was surprised to see that the spider father had molted, instantly causing the young man to be terrified, and realizing that he couldn't defeat him, suddenly, he remembered the words of Tanjiro and the old lady, advising him not to give up, so, he decided to play it tough fight against him, but this time, Inosuke's sword got broken, while he was in a dangerous situation, and remembering being abandoned by his mother on the mountain in the past, luckily, Giyu arrived in time to save him, seeing Giyu easily deal with the spider father, which surprised Inosuke, because he was in an entirely different league, however, because this young man talked too much, so, Giyu immediately tied Inosuke back up and left, meanwhile, Tanjiro is still in the midst of battling Rui. Unexpectedly, his sword was also broken. At this point, he kept relentlessly attacking Tanjiro, 
When he was in danger, Nezuko rushed out to aid him, causing Rui to be very surprised and realizing that she was Tanjiro's sister, seeing him being drawn towards Nezuko. When his sister intervened, he immediately dealt with her, and he orders his sister to go and kill the remaining people on the mountain. So, she left, at this point, he said he would spare Tanjiro, if Tanjiro handed over Nezuko to him, because he wanted to make her his younger sister, then Tanjiro became furious, determined not to hand over Nezuko and declaring that he would defeat him, making him very pleased, so, he revealed his true identity, as one of the 12 demon moons, unexpectedly, he captured Nezuko, and suspended her UPSDE down using threads, so Tanjiro immediately rushed to attack him, but he was too powerful, constantly overpowering Tanjiro, even allowing him to strike at his own neck, because his body was incredibly tough, thus, Rui managed to knock Tanjiro away, seeing his older brother being attacked, so, Nezuko continuously bestir, then he tightens the spider silk even more, although knowing that Rui is very strong, but Tanjiro still rushes to attack him, and he created a water dragon that successfully severed Rui's threads, causing him to be surprised, so he used blood demon arts, turned the threads into red, capturing Tanjiro, at this moment when he feels death approaching, then Tanjiro remembers his father, telling him to control the breath of the fire god, because Tanjiro's family has a dance to pray for peace with the fire god, although Tanjiro's father's body was very weak, but thanks to this breathing technique, he can jump as long as he wants, even in the freezing winter, so Tanjiro has begun using the sun breathing technique and managed to sever Rui's threads, making him surprised, although Rui continuously hindered him, but Tanjiro continues to advance, relentlessly pursuing Rui and launching an attack on his neck. Nezuko also heard her mother, she said, you must protect your brother, so, Nezuko woke up and used the blood demon technique, she burned Rui's spider threads, and Tanjiro successfully struck his neck, finally, he defeated him, but Tanjiro can't move anymore, unexpectedly, Rui is still alive, because he used his own thread to cut his neck before Tanjiro struck him, now, as he intends to deal with Tanjiro, Giyu arrived just in time, he immediately used the 11th form of the water breathing technique, causing all of his threads to snap upon touching Giyu, and Giyu easily finished him off. Tanjiro is very surprised that his water breathing technique only has 10 forms, as for Rui's sister at this moment, she is running away in fear, recalling the time when she was being pursued by demon slayers, Rui saved her, in return, she had to become a member of Rui's family. By drinking Rui's blood, she underwent a transformation, however, this family is merely a facade created by Rui, with no real bonds between its members, Rui is ready to punish anyone who disobeys or leaves, when she attempts to kill a demon slayer, she is promptly captured by Shinobu, at this point, Shinobu asked her, how many people she had killed, when she deceitfully claimed it was only 5, despite the actual number being over 80, Shinobu quickly realized she was lying, so, she attacked Shinobu, and immediately Shinobu finished her off with poison insects, because Shinobu is the insect Hashira, one of the pillars of the Demon Slayer core. Meanwhile Rui this moment, before his death, Rui witnessed his past, due to his frail body, he couldn't go outside, until Muzan turned him into a demon, his body become more powerful, however, he was compelled to consume human flesh, when Rui's parents were about to die with him, he killed his own parents, at this moment, Rui realizes that his parents still love him, leading to his regret, thus, he attempts to create a family, at this moment, Tanjiro also senses Rui's sadness, so he embraces him as well, providing warmth before his disappearance, consequently, Rui folds back into his parents, suddenly, Giyu advises Tanjiro to stop sympathizing with demons, however, Tanjiro refuses, BQs they were also a human before, unexpectedly, Shinobu appears and attacks Nezuko, but Giyu intervenes to stop them, seeing Shinobu's intent to kill Nezuko, Giyu instructs Tanjiro to run, and he will hold Shinobu back, however, she persists in chasing both of them, so, Giyu rushed forward and grabbed her directly, on Tanjiro's side, he is attacked by another girl, however, he pulls her back to allow Nezuko to escape, so she immediately knocked out Tanjiro, and continuously attacked Nezuko, however, the attacks are ineffective, suddenly, a crow arrives with a message, Tanjiro and Nezuko need to be captured alive and taken to the Demon Slayer core headquarters, as a result, the fighting comes to a halt, the cleanup team arrives to treat the wounded and bring them back, when Tanjiro wakes up, he sees the pillars standing before him, it's then that he realizes, they are the nine strongest swordsmen in the Demon Slayer core, 
while they are all curious about how to deal with Tanjiro, as he has violated the rules by traveling with a demon, Tanjiro explains that she is his sister, and has never harmed anyone, but they remain skeptical, because a demon that doesn't eat humans is deemed impossible. Suddenly, the wind Hashira appeared with Tanjiro's box in hand, and starts attacking Nezuko, cause enraging Tanjiro, he immediately rushed forward to headbutt the wind Hashira's head, causing him great pain, he surprises the other pillars, when he intends to strike Tanjiro, the leader of the Demon Slayer Corps appears with a scar on his face, but he is gentle treating everyone as his children, the pillars immediately kneel, show respect for Kagaya, Kagaya then instructs them to trust Tanjiro, but they all oppose, they believe he demons are their enemies, Kagaya reveals a letter from Tanjiro's master, a former water Hashira, ensuring that Nezuko won't harm humans, if not, both Yorokodaki and Giyu will take their own lives to atone for their sins, causing Tanjiro to burst into tears, recognizing the trust his master and Giyu have in him, but the wind Hashira remained adamant and refused to believe, at this point, Kagaya discloses to everyone, that Tanjiro once meet Muzan, leaving everyone astonished, even they are terrified when confronting him, at this point, the wind Hashira proceeded to cut off his own arm, to challenge Nezuko, so, he took Nezuko inside the house, and continued to use the sword to stab into the box, made Tanjiro very angry, but he was immediately stopped by the serpent Hashira, so, he opened the box, at that moment, she was very hungry, when she saw the blood of the serpent Hashira, Tanjiro manages to break free and calls out to Nezuko, meanwhile, Nezuko recalls her brother's protection, and her family, so Nezuko quickly regained her composure and suppressed her hunger, causing everyone to be surprised. Because she proves she won't attack humans, however, Kagaya tells Tanjiro that he must continue proving, that he and Nezuko have the right to fight as demon slayers, so Tanjiro has promised with everyone, Nezuko and I will definitely defeat Muzan, but Kagaya instructs him to eliminate the 12 demon moons first, leaving Tanjiro embarrassed, at this point, Shinobu suggested bringing Tanjiro and Nezuko back to her mansion, someone swiftly two people arrives take them away, but Tanjiro still insisted on retaliating against Wind Hashira, he was immediately knocked out by Mist Hashira, but what surprised Tanjiro was that, it was Kagaya who asked him to inquire about Tamayo's well-being, at this point, upon reaching Shinobu's residence, Tanjiro is shocked to see Kanao, and also remembered that she was at the final selection ceremony, but Kanao doesn't speak, she just smiles at them, unexpectedly, Zenitsu is here too, he's shouting because he's being forced to take medicine, and there's also Inosuke, but he is currently depressed, because he realizes he is too weak, at this moment, Tanjiro is very happy that both are safe, on the side of the pillars, they feel that the new demon slayers who have joined are gradually weakening, but they are very impressed with Tanjiro, at this moment, Kagaya realizes that this is the opportunity to destroy Muzan, because, in the end, he has appeared, the next day, Zenitsu is again forced by a few girls to take medicine, because his body has shrunk due to spider venom, at this time, Shinobu also arrives to inform all three of them, they will begin training to recover their functions, so, two weeks pass, because Zenitsu still hasn't recovered, so, Tanjiro and Inosuke go for training before him, but every day, they both seem exhausted, making him worried, the next day, it's Zenitsu's turn to go with them, as soon as he sees the exercises and the girls here, Zenitsu immediately gets angry and pulls Tanjiro and Inosuke out, blaming them for being taken care of by the girls all this time and hiding him, after that, Zenitsu immediately returns to his own paradise, but only reflex training remains, all three of them couldn't defeat Kanao, so, gradually Inosuke and Zenitsu gave up, only Tanjiro persisted in training with her, while Tanjiro was thinking of ways to defeat Kanao, these girls then told him, you have to use focused, full strength breathing constantly, day and night, even while sleeping, causing Tanjiro to be shocked, so, Tanjiro started training, but after concentrating for a bit, the young man couldn't endure it, nevertheless, Tanjiro still didn't give up, making the girls very admiring of him, and gave him a few small gourds to practice blowing, until it breaks, that's when he stops, making Tanjiro feel very difficult, since then, only Tanjiro has been training, Zenitsu and Inosuke don't want to train anymore, by night, while he was practicing breathing, Shinobu then came to confide in him, suddenly, Tanjiro smelled her angry scent, so, Shinobu told him, Shinobu's sister wants to befriend demons and pity them, but she was killed by a demon, to understand her sister, so, Shinobu also wants to try befriending demons, 
and she realized that demons do nothing but hunger and harm humans. So, she told Tanjiro to try to protect Nezuko and leave. Tanjiro began training again. The next morning, he asked the three girls for help. If she sees him losing focus, she immediately grabs a stick to hit him. So, that night while sleeping, Tanjiro continuously gets hit. In the morning, he continues training and sparring with Kanao. At this point, she realizes Tanjiro is making progress, while Zenitsu and Inosuke keep avoiding. At this point, he successfully broke the small gourd. Zenitsu at this point, witnessing Tanjiro's daily efforts to surpass himself, causing Zenitsu to feel jealous. So, he and Inosuke decide to train full strength breathing, but both realize it's too difficult and want to give up. They are immediately provoked by Shinobu, so, they are determined to continue training. At this point, Kanao also wants to join them. When she tossed the coin, she remembered her past, because since childhood, Kanao lived in a slum and was constantly beaten, so, she lost her emotions. When she was sold into slavery, she was bought back by the two sisters Insect Hashira and brought back, but Insect Hashira realized she wouldn't do anything without orders, even when hungry, she wouldn't eat, so Kanae told her, when you want to make a decision, just toss this coin, so, Kanao left and didn't join Tanjiro's group, at this time, when Tanjiro and Inosuke were happily getting their new swords, then both of them faced the wrath of the angry blacksmith, for allowing the sword to be broken, as for Inosuke, when he saw his new paired swords, he immediately changed it to make it resemble the old sword, this made the blacksmith even angrier, the next day, Tanjiro caught Kanao, so, Zenitsu and Inosuke were determined to train harder, when Tanjiro fully recovered, he asked Shinobu about the dance of the fire god, but she didn't know about this dance, so, Shinobu told him to find the flame Hashira, but he was on a mission, as for Nezuko, she was still sleeping to recover since arriving here, the next morning, Inosuke and Zenitsu were very surprised, because Tanjiro had surpassed them by far, but they all decided to go on a new mission, however, a few months ago on Muzan's side, he gathered all lower moon demons together, which surprised everyone, because Muzan appeared in the form of a woman, he informed them that, Rui had died and asked them, why lower ranks had become so weak, while upper ranks remained unchanged for over a century, suddenly, someone harbored resentment towards Muzan but didn't speak it out, unexpectedly, Muzan read his thoughts, so he was promptly dealt with by Muzan, causing everyone to fear and tremble, one person attempted to flee but was instantly dealt with, so there's a guy suggesting to get more of Muzan's blood to become stronger, and he was immediately dealt with as well, at this point, only lower rank 1 remains, but he's different from the others, absolutely admiring and worshipping Muzan even being killed, so Muzan added more blood to him, to make him stronger to kill the pillars and Tanjiro, on Tanjiro's group side, the crow informed everyone, to head to the infinity train to help Rengoku, the next morning, while he was bidding farewell to everyone, Tanjiro confronted this annoying guy again, but he didn't care about him, after Tanjiro bid goodbye to Aoi, he went to find Kanao, but Kanao still didn't say a word to him, suddenly, she flipped a coin and started conversing with Tanjiro, making Tanjiro very happy, realizing that Kanao decides everything by flipping a coin, therefore, Tanjiro also flipped a coin, to help Kanao choose to follow her heart, and Tanjiro chose correctly, making him very happy, that made Kanao start to have feelings for Tanjiro, then all three of them blew a big gourd together, and bid farewell to the three young girls, at this moment, Giyu also arrived to bid Tanjiro goodbye, so they all set off together towards the infinity train, making Inosuke think the train was a gigantic monster, when he headbutted it, they were immediately chased by the police, so, all night long, they sneaked onto the train and began their mission, at this moment, flame Hashira Kyojuro, he's stopping by a noodle shop for a satisfying meal, before starting his mission to the infinity train, and he's aware that there are over 40 people dead on this train, hence, it has ceased its activity, upon arriving at the train station, he sees a girl arguing with her grandma, because of the news that demons caused their business to decline, so he immediately promised to deal with those demons, and he bought all the lunch boxes to help them, at this point, Kyojuro has found his way to where the repaired train is, pretending to be a food delivery person for the mechanics here, when he learned that the train would resume operations tomorrow, he spotted a demon kidnapping a kid, causing fear among everyone, but as he was about to harm the kid, Kyojuro immediately attacked him, realizing it wasn't favorable, the demon fled away. He handed the kid over to his teammate, and pursued the demon at a very fast speed, at this moment, the demon had found the location of the grandma and the kid, 
as he just captured the granddaughter, Kyojuro timely appeared to rescue her, so the demon intended to capture the older woman to threaten, but unexpectedly, Kyojuro swiftly took care of him, making the old lady remember, she had also been saved by his father before, realizing he wasn't the demon on the infinity train, because he was too weak, therefore, the evening after the train resumed its operation, he was given a portion of rice by them as a token of gratitude, to prepare for boarding the train, meanwhile, Tanjiro's group also boarded the train to help Kyojuro, however, Inosuke immediately recognized as the mountain guy, so they found Kyojuro eating and praising the food, making everyone on the train think the young man was crazy, upon knowing that Tanjiro's group came to help him, he was very happy, at this point, Tanjiro asked him about his father's fire god dance, but he also didn't know anything about it, so Kyojuro told Tanjiro, there are five basic breathing techniques, fire, water, wind, stone, thunder, from which other breathing techniques are derived, and he promised to train Tanjiro, helping him to feel that Kyojuro is a very kind and passionate person, suddenly, he sensed that demons were about to appear, making Zenitsu frightened, at this moment when the ticket inspector came to check, Tanjiro felt that he was very strange, suddenly, the demon appeared, causing everyone to be frightened, so Kyojuro immediately slashed him with very fast speed, catching everyone surprised, but he sensed there was still one more demon, so Inosuke immediately rushed to attack him, but Kyojuro timely saved him, and he also finished off the demon, making everyone amazed and wanting to become his disciples, but unexpectedly, it was all just a dream, it turns out the ticket inspector was being controlled by the lower rank one, because he had the ability to manipulate dreams, and promised to grant these people a beautiful dream, at this moment, Tanjiro dreamt of his younger siblings, making him very happy, holding them tightly, while lower rank 1, Enmu, stands atop the train, these guys are tight Tanjiro's group hand, forming a connection to enter their dreams, at this moment while Tanjiro is joyfully with his family, Zenitsu dreams of hanging out with Nezuko, meanwhile, Inosuke imagines himself as the leader of the group, Kyojuro is happily telling his father, that he has become a pillar, but his father shows no interest, and he has a younger brother, they always try to gain their father's recognition, their father used to be former Hashira always take care of them, but since Kyojuro's mother passed away, he changed and abandoned the path of being a swordsman, nevertheless, Kyojuro always tries to be strong, to provide spiritual support for his younger brother, at this time, a girl infiltrated Kyojuro's dream, and was assigned by Enmu the task of destroying his spiritual core, so Kyojuro would become useless, but as she entered the subconscious, she was surprised to find it filled with flames, as she prepared to disrupt the spiritual core, Kyojuro unconsciously captured her, because he sensed danger, meanwhile, Tanjiro felt the absence of Nezuko, while feeling very strange, his consciousness informed him, that this was just a dream, so he began looking for a way to escape here, outside, Nezuko had regained consciousness, and tried to awaken his older brother, even though she headbutted him, he still didn't wake up, and also caused Nezuko to bleed from her head and burn, helping Tanjiro to realize, so he immediately sought a way out of the dream, suddenly, Nezuko also appeared with the whole family, though he wanted to stay here, but Tanjiro still had to accept the truth and leave, and this guy witnessed everything, as he stepped into Tanjiro's subconscious, he found it beautiful and warm, when Tanjiro didn't know what to do, his father told him to swing the sword, so Tanjiro cut his own neck, meanwhile, this guy was led by Tanjiro's white shadows, take him to find Tanjiro's spiritual core, surprising him, because Tanjiro is a very kind person, suddenly, he was brought outside, when this girl is searching for Inosuke's spiritual core, she was continuously chased, as for Zenitsu's subconscious, it was another personality of his, causing both to suffer from nightmares, at this point, Tanjiro had regained consciousness, and saw everyone was being controlled, so he asked Nezuko to burn the threads for him, but they still don't wake up, suddenly, Tanjiro was attacked again, at this moment, he realized they were all sick and very pitiful, but he still had to knock them down, meanwhile, this young man realized Tanjiro was very kind-hearted, so he let him go, so Tanjiro found Enmu, at this point, he was very surprised, because he had the ticket inspector activate his curse technique, believing no one could detect it, yet Tanjiro was still able to escape his spell, and he realized Tanjiro was the one Muzan wanted to kill, as Tanjiro began to attack him, he continuously tried to make him sleep, but unexpectedly, it had no effect on Tanjiro, because he had been suicide consciousness within the dream to wake up, 
Thus, he made Tanjiro see nightmares about his family, causing him to get angry, and immediately struck his neck, for daring to use his family as a joke, but Tanjiro realized something was wrong. Unexpectedly, he wasn't dead yet, it turned out his real body had merged with the train, realizing everyone was in danger, so Tanjiro immediately ran to wake them up. Unexpectedly, Inosuke had awakened, and he attacked Enmu's body to save everyone. At this moment, when Tanjiro didn't know what to do, to find his body, Nezuko also took action. When she was captured, Zenitsu immediately ran to rescue Nezuko, and Kyojiro has also regained consciousness, so he immediately set the train on fire. At this point, he instructed Tanjiro and everyone to split up, to find Enmu's neck. While Tanjiro was admiring his strength, Inosuke ran up to destroy the train's head, but he was stopped by him, so Tanjiro immediately freed Inosuke. Realizing this was his neck, so Inosuke immediately attacked, but his neck was too hard, and he was consistently blocked by him, so they still couldn't cut it, he immediately made both of them fall asleep. At this point, he repeatedly made Tanjiro faint, although he tried to regain consciousness, to the point where he couldn't distinguish between reality and dream, but Inosuke timely rescued him, because Inosuke wore a mask, he couldn't determine his eyes. Suddenly, the train conductor attacked Tanjiro, so he was immediately knocked out by him. At this moment, Enmu tried to capture both of them, so they began to cooperate. When his neck bone was revealed by Inosuke's strike, Tanjiro immediately used the sun breathing, striking at his neck, so the train was overturned, causing Tanjiro to be thrown outside. At this point, Inosuke was very concerned for him, because Tanjiro couldn't move, so he asked Inosuke to save everyone, even though he didn't want to save the train conductor, but seeing Tanjiro plead with him, so he immediately ran to save them, at this time as Enmu was slowly dissolving, he blamed Kyojiro for protecting 200 passengers, so he didn't have time to consume them to increase his strength, and both Zenitsu and Nezuko, but the one he hated the most was Tanjiro, because their actions caused his dream of becoming an upper ranks to vanish, at this time, Kyojiro arrived, to guide Tanjiro on how to control bleeding with breathing, so he began to better, unexpectedly, a dangerous demon appeared, at this point, both of them realized, he was upper rank 3, when he attacked Tanjiro, he was immediately stopped by Kyojiro, unexpectedly, his recovery speed was very fast, he realized that Kyojiro was very strong, so he revealed his name as Akaza, at this point, he tried to persuade Kyojiro to become a demon, to gain absolute strength without aging or weakening, but he refused, and he was furious when he saw him belittling Tanjiro, so he unleashed his power, continuously attacking him, with a speed that Tanjiro couldn't keep up with. When Akaza is overpowering Kyojiro, he used the breath of the flame to stop him, at this point, both fought fiercely, but he was kicked away by him, so Kyojiro continued to attack Akaza again, making him very excited, at this point, Inosuke recognized they were at a completely different level, but Kyojiro was gradually getting weaker, because Akaza kept recovering continuously, nevertheless, he still kept moving forward, and cut off his hand, at this point, Kyojiro was very exhausted, while Akaza showed no signs of fatigue, but he wants Kyojiro to continue fighting him, at this point, Tanjiro really wants to help him, but he still can't move, when he said humans cannot defeat demons, Kyojiro immediately said, no matter what, I won't let anyone die, so he activated a secret technique, making Akaza very pleased to sense the fighting spirit of Kyojiro, and Kyojiro removed his limitations, continuously slashing at Akaza's neck, when Tanjiro thought he had defeated him, unexpectedly, he was stabbed through by him, making Tanjiro unable to believe it, while Akaza said, if you don't become a demon, you'll die, Kyojiro remembered his mother's advice, you are born with strength to protect the weak, so he tried to strike at Akaza's neck, and Akaza realized the dawn was approaching, as he was trying to escape, Tanjiro and Inosuke also ran over, unexpectedly, he cut off his own two arms to escape, so he immediately ran into the forest, Tanjiro threw his sword and cursed him as a coward, making him angry but he could only run away, at this point, Tanjiro kept shouting curses, to vent all his anger to help Kyojiro, so he began to cry, because Kyojiro knew he was very badly injured, but Kyojiro told him to talk to him for the last time, seeing Kyojiro wound bleeding, made Tanjiro very worried, while he told Tanjiro to come to his house, to retrieve an ancient notebook, and to convey to his younger brother, stay firm on the path you have chosen, told to his father to take care of his health, at this moment, he also acknowledged Nezuko, because she had protected everyone, and the fact that he protected Tanjiro, because he had placed his trust in Tanjiro, 
causing Tanjiro to blame himself. Suddenly, he saw his mother smiling, because her son had done very well, and he departed with a smile on his face. When Zenitsu learned that Kyojiro had died, it made him greatly shocked, because it was he who had saved everyone. When the train fall of the trail, meanwhile, Tanjiro was blaming himself for being too weak. This made Inosuke furious, and he demanded that Tanjiro stop crying. Instead, he urged him to try to keep living, while he himself was crying a lot. At this moment, upon hearing the news of Kyojiro's death, it surprised everyone, and Kagaya also felt proud. When Kyojiro saved the lives of 200 passengers on the train, ensuring no one perished, meanwhile, on Muzan's side, he pretended to be the son of a wealthy family, while his foster parents were proud of their child. Then Akaza arrived to report, though he hadn't found the blue spider lily, he had slain flame Hashira. Unexpectedly, Muzan became furious, because Akaza only killed one pillar, and still let Tanjiro and others survive. Though Muzan allowed him to leave, but Akaza still harbored a deep hatred for Tanjiro for daring to insult him. Meanwhile, Zenitsu discovered that Tanjiro had gone missing. Turns out he had gone to Kyojiro's house. Surprisingly, Kyojiro's father continuously insulted his own son and drove Tanjiro away, making him furious. But when seeing Tanjiro's earring, he immediately attacked him, because he knew Tanjiro possessed the breath of the sun. And that is the origin of all other breathing techniques. This astonished Tanjiro because his family only sells coal on the mountain. How could he possess the breath of the sun? He kept berating Tanjiro, thinking he had come to mock him. When Tanjiro angry run forward, he was defeat him quickly. Meanwhile, Tanjiro is self-blaming, because he possesses the breath of the sun but let Kyojiro die. Unexpectedly, he was headbutted by Tanjiro and fell unconscious. At this moment, as Tanjiro is apologizing to Senjiro, Senjiro presents him with an ancient book, containing notes about the breath of the sun, but unexpectedly, the book had been torn apart a lot, so Tanjiro decided to train by himself, because he saw that Senjiro was very sad and in pain. He conveyed Kyojiro's message back to him, by the evening Tanjiro left. Senjiro spoke his older brother's heartfelt words to his father, telling him to take care of his health, which made him cry. When Tanjiro returned, he was immediately pursued by the blacksmith, because daring to lose the sword, Fortunately, with the help of these girls and bribed the blacksmith, Tanjiro still lived well. Since then, all three of them started training together for four months, and each person has their own task. At this time, Tanjiro and Nezuko were pursuing a demon. Unintentionally, he escaped into the village. However, Tanjiro quickly found and dealt with him. Upon returning, Tanjiro discovered that Sound Hashira was capturing these girls away. Enraged, he attacked Sound Hashira. Unexpectedly, he moved very quickly, because Tengen is a skilled ninja. This led to the group continuously cursing this arrogant young man, making him uncomfortable. At this point, he mentioned that he would take these girls for a mission, so Tanjiro immediately stood up and declared, all three of us will replace for her, surprising Tengen and gaining his acceptance. Upon hearing him say that they would go to the entertainment district, because there are many missing people here, Inosuke and Tanjiro didn't know where that was. At this moment, the delusional youth claimed to be the shining star, and all three of them were just trash. This immediately made Zenitsu think he a crazy, so they all immediately set off. When they arrived at the entertainment district, all three were very surprised, because there were many beautiful girls here, so they curiously ran around, making Tengen furious, when he saw the beautiful girls. Zenitsu was not only fascinated but also shy, so Tengen immediately caught him. At this point, he explained to everyone, that most of the geisha were sold to here, and the most beautiful among them was the Oaran. But when Tengen suggested, they had to disguise themselves as girls to find his wife in the entertainment district, immediately surprising Zenitsu. Not believing that he had a wife, however, when he found out that Tengen didn't have just one but three wives, the young man became very upset, so he was sent to bed early by Tengen, just as he heard that Tengen's three wives were gathering information there, Inosuke said they were probably all dead so he was also beaten silent by him. At this point, Tengen had disguised all three as girls to enter the entertainment district, while Tanjiro and Inosuke were both accepted. Zenitsu, on the other hand, wasn't accepted by anyone, he was also jealous because Tengen was more handsome than him, with much reluctance and relying on his talent for playing the shamisen. Zenitsu managed to secure a spot. At this moment, Tanjiro was helping Koinatsu move her things. He heard the news that Suma, Tengen's wife, had escaped from there, so Tanjiro tried to lie, claiming to be Suma's sister, in an attempt to gather more information about her, 
Meanwhile, Tengen was still observing everyone, and he realized that the demon this time, might be in upper ranks, at this point, on Inosuke's side, Makio, who is also Tengen's wife, has been captured, a continuously tortured Makio to investigate these letters, meanwhile, Inosuke sensed something suspicious in Makio's room, so he ran to check, and discovered they had disappeared, immediately, he chased after them, even punching the guest, but still couldn't catch up, as for Zenitsu, he was trying to find the remaining wife, he heard a girl crying, however, upon finding her, he was scared to stiff, because he realized the figure behind him was a demon, and he learned that she was Warabahime, the Orion, but when she continued to attack the girl, Zenitsu immediately stopped her, resulting in him getting punched, two days before Tanjiro's group arrived here, she had already become suspicious by the owner of the entertainment district, because there were too many people missing, so she killed her, when she returned, unexpectedly, she encountered Muzan, at this moment, Muzan said he had high expectations for Daki, as she had managed to kill seven pillars, returning to Zenitsu, fortunately, thanks to the plea of the entertainment district's owner, she spared him, however, she later realized that Zenitsu was a demon slayer, when he regained consciousness, he saw that these three girls were taking care of him, because they recognized him as kind-hearted, however, when they left, Zenitsu was captured, the next morning, when the owner learned that Zenitsu had gone missing, he told everyone to forget about him, as he feared Daki and knew that she was the one who killed his wife, on Tanjiro's side at the entertainment district, Koinatsu was entirely different, she was a very kind person, at this moment, when the whole group reunited, Tengen announced that Zenitsu had gone missing, surprising both Tanjiro and Inosuke, so, he told Tanjiro and Inosuke to leave, and let him act alone, however, both of them decided to stay, to save Zenitsu and his wife, thus, Tanjiro sought out Koinatsu, to ask her to send money for food to the owner here, but when he learned that she had known he was a boy for a long time, it shocked the young man, when he found out that she would leave tomorrow to get married, Tanjiro was also happy, however, as soon as he left, Daki appeared and captured Koinatsu, meanwhile, Inosuke had also taken action, Tengen's side looked for Zenitsu's entertainment district owner, he promised to help him seek revenge for his wife, so he provided him with her name and location, meanwhile, Tanjiro realized that Koinatsu was in danger, when he confronted Daki, he was shocked to discover that she was an upper moon demon, consequently, he was immediately attacked by her, realizing her immense strength and the ability of her sash to absorb humans, Despite this, Tanjiro persisted and continued to charge forward. Eventually, he managed to cut a portion of Daki's sash containing Koinatsu, on Tengen's side. While searching for Daki, he rescued one of his wives. Hanatsuru apologized to Tengen for being detected by Daki, but he remained gentle and advised her to leave first. Thus, he continued his search for Daki, and discovered her hideout. At this point, Tanjiro realized that he was not compatible with the water Hashira's breathing technique, because the sun breathing within him was more dominant, however, it was too powerful for Tanjiro to endure, despite this, Tanjiro continued to use it, surprising Daki, because he blocked her attack, suddenly, Tanjiro disappeared, and attacked her from behind, however, Daki easily blocked him again, so, she resumed attacking Tanjiro, at this moment, he realized that he could fight against an upper ranks, thus, he rushed in to attack her, Meanwhile, Inosuke had found an entrance leading to Daki's hideout, and discovered that everyone had been captured and brought there. Unexpectedly, he was attacked by Daki's belt, immediately, he cut it and rescued everyone. When the belts of Daki used a human to threaten Inosuke, unexpectedly, Tengen's wife saved them. Suddenly, Zenitsu also appeared and attacked with incredible speed. But the thing that worries her, that one of the pillars had arrived. So, Tengen immediately attacked her but she managed to escape, at this point, his two wives were very happy, to be reunited with their husband, in their clan, female ninjas are always looked down upon, but only Tengen recognized all three of them, and advised them to prioritize their lives over their mission, so, they all admired him greatly, meanwhile, Daki was very angry and continuously attacked Tanjiro, unexpectedly, the belts of Daki returned, so Daki realized there was a pillar here, making her happy and transforming, Tanjiro also noticed that she had become stronger, suddenly, a young man appeared and scolded Tanjiro for causing a disturbance, this made Daki uncomfortable, so she destroyed everything, due to helping him, Tanjiro also got injured, seeing too many people dead, made him furious, he remembered Kyojiro's father, who had sent a letter of gratitude, letting him know that those with the sun breathing technique, 
were born with a mark on their foreheads, although the scar on Tanjiro's forehead was from boiling water, but at this moment, he had become stronger, he easily captured Daki, surprising her, and saw the silhouette of someone who had almost killed Muzan, through his memories, Tanjiro continued to attack Daki, just when she thought she would catch him, unexpectedly, Tanjiro easily blocked her, surprising her and instilling fear, he then cut into Daki's neck, but it was too soft to sever, Tanjiro gathered all of Daki's belt together, and swiftly moved at an incredibly fast pace, when she realized it, she saw Tanjiro's sword on her neck, but suddenly, Tanjiro couldn't endure any longer, just when she thought she had won, then Nezuko swiftly leapt out and delivered a kick to her, making Daki furious, because she dared to damage her face, she remembered that Muzan had told her, there was a demon in a kimono that had escaped his control, so she kept getting attacked by her, when Daki thought she could easily defeat Nezuko, unexpectedly, Nezuko recovered quickly, and began transforming, this surprised and intimidated Daki, Nezuko immediately counterattacked. at this moment, Daki realized, Nezuko had the ability to recover beyond her own capabilities, while Nezuko was gradually losing control, Tanjiro dreamt of his younger brother telling him to quickly go save their sister, so he woke up, despite continuously attacking Nezuko, but still couldn't defeat her, so, she was burned, and continuously punished by Nezuko, suddenly, Nezuko spotted an injured woman, and immediately wanted to consume her, but Tanjiro intervened, Daki, intending to attack both of them, Tengen timely appeared, he was surprised by Nezuko, and didn't bother with Daki, claiming she was too weak, when she got angry, unexpectedly, he had already struck her beforehand, at this moment, Nezuko was continuously struggling, so, Tanjiro sang their mother's lullaby to her, helping Nezuko calm down, and remember their mother, mother used to sing this song to her often, this made Nezuko cry and faint, meanwhile, Daki kept cursing Tengen, because he didn't believe she was an upper moon demon, so, she cried out and called for her older brother, although he immediately attacked, Tengen was still slower than him, while he wondered why cutting off her head hadn't killed her yet, he continued to block him, at this point, he was envious of Tengen being more handsome, so, Gyotaro attacked Tengen, but he managed to block it, upon learning that he had up to three wives, he immediately got angry and used his blood demon art to attack Tengen, consequently, he caused the entire house to explode, unexpectedly, both of them remained unharmed, at this point, he was poisoned by Gyotaro's blade, nevertheless, Tengen still swiftly attacked both of them, surprising him, Tengen revealed that he knew their secret, that means defeating both of them at the same time to defeat them, when he said that Tengen alone wouldn't be able to do it, all three of them ran to support Tengen, Tanjiro realized that this battle was challenging, but Tengen believed they would definitely win, so, Tanjiro saw the figure of Kyojiro within him, when Daki attacked them, Zenitsu immediately intervened, so, Inosuke came to help him, suddenly, Gyotaro's eye appeared on Daki's forehead, while Tanjiro was still worried, he was attacked by him, so, Tengen threw Tanjiro away, Inosuke was surprised, because Daki had up to three eyes, and she continued to attack both of them, meanwhile, Tengen was continuously overwhelmed by Gyotaro below, so, Tanjiro helped him, Tengen used the breath of sound to counterattack him, Tanjiro continuously assisted Tengen in blocking Daki's belt, suddenly, Hanatsuru attempted to attack him sneakily, but he managed to block all of her attacks, Tengen immediately cut off his legs, causing him to be hit by a poisoned blade, when both rushed to finish him off, unexpectedly, he immediately recovered, and used blood demon art, so, Tengen kicked Tanjiro away to face him alone, surprisingly, he disappeared and kidnapped his wife, seeing Hanatsuru captured, while Tengen was restrained, Tanjiro immediately ran over, but he no longer had the strength to use sun breathing, so, Tanjiro came up with a plan, combining the sun breathing's breathing technique with the water Hashira's, so, he managed to save her, surprising him greatly, when he attacked Tanjiro, Tengen immediately ran to attack his neck, but was blocked by him, then, he activated blood demon art to capture Tengen, on the side of Inosuke and Zenitsu, they were trying to find an opportunity to strike Daki's neck, however, Daki counterattacked and sent them flying towards Tanjiro, seeing both of them struggling, Tanjiro decided to focus on defeating Daki first, so, the three of them cooperated, Zenitsu and Tanjiro continuously blocking Daki, allowing Inosuke to strike her neck, when Daki thought that Inosuke wouldn't be able to strike her, so, he immediately transformed his sword into a saw, that way, he managed to defeat her, 
So, he grabbed her head and ran away. When Tanjiro was about to run to Tengen, unexpectedly, Inosuke was pierced through by Gyotaro, and Tengen was also defeated by him, causing Tanjiro to be shocked. Suddenly, Tanjiro was attacked again, so Zenitsu rushed to push him away. At this moment, Tanjiro lost consciousness, and he blamed himself. Then Nezuko told him not to apologize anymore. Let's fight together with her. Tanjiro then regained consciousness, and seeing everything destroyed, suddenly, Gyotaro appeared again with Daki, he said, you're all a bunch of losers, but Tanjiro couldn't do anything, at this moment, he continued to mock Tanjiro, for not protecting his younger sister, suddenly, he broke Tanjiro's arm, and challenged him, saying, cut off my head if you dare, but Tanjiro embraced Nezuko and ran away, so, he immediately attacked him, seeing Tanjiro's misery, he felt very pleased and tormented him, suddenly, he tried to persuade Tanjiro to become a demon, when Tanjiro looked up to the sky, he thought Tanjiro had accepted it, but unexpectedly, Tanjiro headbutts him, causing him great pain and preventing him from getting up, at this moment, he realizes that Tanjiro deliberately ran away, driving the venom sword into his own leg, immediately, Tanjiro strikes him in the neck, when Daki attempts to save her brother, Zenitsu intervenes, and forcefully slashes at her neck, meanwhile, Tanjiro is still attempting to decapitate Gyotaro, but to his surprise, Gyotaro escapes and counterattacks. Suddenly, Tengen rushes in to rescue Tanjiro, and engages in a brutal fight with him. Both parties relentlessly attack each other, causing destruction everything. When Tengen gains control over the situation, Tanjiro immediately rushes forward. Despite being stabbed in the neck, he remains determined to strike him. Suddenly, the demon slaying mark appears, aiding Tanjiro in delivering a deep blow to his enemy's neck. While Zenitsu exerts all his strength, surprisingly, Inosuke is still alive, assisting him in severing Daki's neck. As a result, they successfully decapitate both of them, but Tanjiro has been poisoned, and vaguely saw Tengen in a panic. Gyotaro's body immediately explodes, blowing away everything in its vicinity. However, Nezuko quickly wake up just in time, and employs her blood demon technique to save everyone. Upon Tanjiro's awakening, he finds Nezuko by his side, and she promptly leads him to search for Zenitsu. Meanwhile, Inosuke is severely poisoned, causing deep concern for Tanjiro. Suddenly, Nezuko uses her flames to heal Inosuke's, bringing reassurance to Tanjiro. While Tengen is attempting to apologize to his three wives, they kept making noise, rendering him helpless. Suddenly, Nezuko also arrived to tend to his wounds, make three of them really happy, as Tanjiro and Nezuko set out to collect the blood of the upper rank for Tamayo. They witness the two brothers quarreling. Daki becomes furious and contemptuous her brothers, make Gyotaro infuriated. He immediately scolded. If it weren't for me, you would have died countless times already, you're a disgrace. So Tanjiro immediately covers Gyotaro's mouth again, because he knows it's just his lies. Both of them are the only two siblings in the world. When no one stands by your side, there are only two siblings left, so please don't despise each other, at this moment. Seeing his younger sister repeatedly calling him brother, makes Gyotaro start to regret. And remember her real name is Ume, since childhood, he has lived in the slums, and has constantly been despised, because of his dirty and disheveled appearance, but since his younger sister was born, he considers her his pride, because she is very beautiful, so he always protects her, until one day he sees his sister being burned to death, making him angry and killing the one who harmed his sister, when no one helps him, at that moment, he encountered upper rank too, so Gyotaro was transformed into a demon, but what he wants most is for his sister to live a normal life, at this point, he meet Ume again, but he doesn't want her to follow him anymore, when he sees Ume crying and apologizing, then Gyotaro remembers the promise they made to never be apart, so he took his younger sister along with him, and both of them disappeared, meanwhile, Obanai is taunting the sound Hashira, because seeing him battered, but when he learns that Tanjiro has a significant contribution in this battle, he is very surprised, as for Kagaya, he is very happy, because after hundreds of years, he had shed much blood and tears, the Demon Slayer Corps has also defeated an upper ranks, helping him see hope, for sure, this time it's your turn, Muzan, as for the upper rank 3 Akaza now, he has been summoned to the infinite room, making him wonder, could it be that an upper rank has already been killed? So he was immediately taken to the gathering place of all the upper moons. A demon emerges from within a jar, mocking Akaza. It turns out he is the upper rank 5, Gyoko. Another demon hides behind the stairs. 
He is the upper rank 4, Hantengu. While Akaza is questioning who was dead, suddenly, the upper rank 2, Doma, appears next to Akaza, enraged. He immediately punches Doma, because he has hated this guy for a long time, and the strongest among the upper moons arrives. He is none other than the upper rank 1, Kokushibo. Finally, Muzan appears, causing Akaza to be frightened. Muzan says that Gyotaro is already dead. He blames the whole group, calling them useless, because until now, they haven't been able to destroy the Demon Slayer corpse base or find the Blue Spider Lily. Suddenly, the upper rank 5 announces that he has information about the Demon Slayer core. So Muzan immediately grabs his head and assigns him the task of exterminating the Demon Slayer core. Finally, Muzan left. Suddenly, Doma asks about the information regarding Gyoko. Akaza immediately attacks Doma, because he always wanted to surpass Doma. Suddenly, Kokushibo cut off one of Akaza's arms, because he is only ranked 3 and is not allowed to be disrespectful to rank 2. Although standing under the overwhelming power of Kokushibo, but Akaza still says, one day, I will kill you. So all the upper ranks were brought outside, on Tanjiro's side, while he was in a coma, he dreamed of a swordsman named Yorichi. He is the one who created the sun breathing technique, and Yorichi is also someone who had almost killed Muzan. In a chance encounter, he saved Tanjiro's great-grandfather, so he decided to pass on the sun breathing technique to them. When Tanjiro woke up, he saw Kanao by his bedside, seeing Tanjiro recovered, making everyone very happy, because they were very worried, thinking he might have passed away. Inosuke, despite being much more seriously injured than Tanjiro, could recover faster than him, so a week later, the whole group could start training again. Suddenly, Tanjiro remembers that his sword is broken. Then he immediately received a threatening letter from the blacksmith. Even though he knew for sure that this time, he would be killed. But Tanjiro still decided to visit the blacksmith's village, because that village is a secret. So, Tanjiro had to cover both his nose and eyes so that this girl could carry him there. Only members of the hidden team know the location of the blacksmith's village. Thanks to the Demon Slayer Corp's secrecy, Muzan still couldn't find them. Finally, Tanjiro arrived at the destination, turns out the blacksmith's village is deep inside a mountain. While the love Hashira is bathing in hot water nearby, then Tanjiro went to meet the village chief. Tanjiro thought the sword breaking was his fault. Unexpectedly, the village chief blamed it on the inferior craftsmanship of Hotaro, and he promised to let Hotaro forge a new sword for him. At this point, Tanjiro went to observe the swordsmith's forging techniques here, when Tanjiro was about to go to the hot springs, Love Hashira ran quickly to embrace him. Apart from the pillar, Tanjiro also encountered the fierce young man, Jenya, before he could ask more. Jenya forcefully pushed his head into the water, leaving Tanjiro in depression. In the evening, when Tanjiro went to eat with Mitsuri, she then told him that Jenya is the younger brother of Wind Hashira. However, Wind Hashira doesn't acknowledge Jenya as his brother. At this point, Tanjiro asked Mitsuri why she joined the Demon Slayer Corps. I want to find a husband, which left Tanjiro stunned. Unexpectedly, this woman, looking for a husband, has become a pillar. Before leaving, she revealed to Tanjiro, in this village, there is a secret weapon, could help Tanjiro become stronger. So the next morning, he immediately went to find. Unexpectedly, he encountered Mist Hashira, Muichiro arguing with a kid. Suddenly, he saw someone behind the kid. Just like the person in Tanjiro's dream, it turns out that person was just a puppet. When Muichiro started using physical force against the kid, Tanjiro immediately ran to stop him, so Muichiro immediately punched Tanjiro. But Tanjiro quickly saved the kid. It turns out Muichiro wanted the kid to hand over the key to control the puppet, and he considered a Pilar's time more valuable than the blacksmith's here. This immediately made Tanjiro upset, and he scolded him. The work of the blacksmiths is also very important. Thanks to them forging swords, we can fight. Coincidentally, Hotaro, hiding in the background, happened to overhear, but unexpectedly, Muichiro sent him to bed early, because he found him talking too much. Upon waking up, Tanjiro discovered that Muichiro had taken the puppet away. It was then that the kid explained to Tanjiro. The puppet was left by the kid's father and possesses extraordinary strength. It is often used for training. It turns out Muichiro was just training with it, Tanjiro realized that Muichiro, despite being the same age, was quite formidable. So Muichiro's crow informed him, Muichiro is indeed a genius and the successor of the user of the sun breathing technique. In the end, Muichiro also finished his training, and he cut off one arm of the puppet, immediately making Katetsu run away in frustration. 
seeing the battered puppet right in front of them. Both thought it wouldn't function anymore, but unexpectedly, when the lock was opened, the puppet could still move. So, Katetsu told Tanjiro to train with it, you must be stronger than that short guy for sure. So Tanjiro trained with the puppet until morning, and was continuously beaten by it throughout the night. He realized Muichiro was very strong. So Tanjiro was determined to be just as strong, but continuously got knocked around by the puppet. So day by day, Tanjiro kept fighting with the puppet, even without eating or sleeping, pushing his body to the limit, when he thought he was about to die. Tanjiro began to see the puppet's movements clearly, so he managed to block all of its attacks, by relying on the scent, when Tanjiro flew up to strike the puppet, but he stopped his hand, suddenly, Katetsu urged him to go ahead and strike, so Tanjiro struck the puppet, instantly causing its head to break open, but unexpectedly, inside the 300-year-old puppet, there was a sword, Katetsu then told Tanjiro to take it, thinking it was a very fine sword, but upon opening, it turned out to be a rusty sword, Carrying it to slay demons is definitely out of the question. Suddenly, the blacksmith Hotaru appeared, with a body full of muscles, he snatched Tanjiro's sword. It turns out he just returned from training in the mountains, determined to forge a truly good sword for Tanjiro. So, Hotaru took away the sword, and gave Tanjiro another sword to use temporarily. By evening, while Tanjiro was trying to befriend Genya, at this time, in the hot spring area, a blacksmith noticed a flask, as soon as he approached. He was immediately pulled inside, it turns out that the upper rank 5 demon had infiltrated here, together with the upper rank 4 demon Hantengu, who was very frightened, while Tanjiro was sleeping peacefully, Muichiro came to wake him up, it turns out Muichiro wants Tanjiro's help to find the blacksmith named Kanamori, seeing that he has free time, Tanjiro immediately promised to help him, surprising Muichiro, because Tanjiro finds joy in helping others, Suddenly, the upper rank 4 demon opened the door to the room, leaving Tanjiro surprised and confused, he came from when? Why did both of them fail to notice his presence? So, Muichiro immediately used the mist breathing technique to attack him, but unexpectedly, he moved too quickly and managed to evade. So Tanjiro immediately took action, and used the sun breathing technique to attack him. Nezuko also ran up to give him a kick, seizing this opportunity, Muichiro immediately decapitated him, but unexpectedly, he immediately split and regenerated into two bodies, he then used the hand fan to blow all of them outside, it turns out the upper rank 4 demon is also like the upper rank 6 demon, having two bodies, but these two have one cheerful and one angry, when Tanjiro was thinking about how to attack them, the guy with the pewter staff immediately electrocuted him, causing all of them to be paralyzed, luckily, Genya appeared in time to shoot them, when he rushed to decapitate one of them, Tanjiro immediately told Genya, to kill them, you have to decapitate both of them at the same time. Unexpectedly, this time they split into four individuals. One of them grabbed Tanjiro and flew into the sky. Meanwhile, Genya was attacked by another one. When Tanjiro was about to use the sun breathing technique, he was then attacked with sound waves, causing him to fall to the ground. At this time, Muichiro immediately ran off to find the village chief. Even though he saw Katetsu about to be caught, he had to prioritize the mission of protecting the important person first. Suddenly, Muichiro remembered Tanjiro. Finding joy in helping others, he immediately turned back to rescue Katetsu. With just one stroke, he severed the head of the carp demon. Unexpectedly, a new head immediately grew. Muichiro recognized its weakness lying in the flask. So he promptly severed it. As soon as he was saved, Katetsu quickly turned around. Apologizing to Muichiro for always thinking he was a bad person, when Muichiro was about to leave, Katetsu approached, begging him to go save the villagers, suddenly, Muichiro remembered when he was saved by Kagaya, it turns out he had lost all his memories before that, so, now that he helped him remember something, Muichiro decided to take Katetsu to save the villagers, as for Tanjiro, he was about to be dealt with by this demon. Fortunately, he decapitated him, unexpectedly, he continued to multiply and attack Tanjiro, suddenly, he realized that each time he multiplied, his strength weakened, and he only had four duplicates corresponding to four emotions, joy, anger, sorrow, and pleasure, so Tanjiro immediately attacked his duplicates, the demon of joy then appeared and attacked him, when he intended to finish off Tanjiro, unexpectedly, he was cut in half by him, but immediately, he regenerated, Tanjiro realized that he was very difficult to defeat, on Nezuko's side, she is being captured by the pleasure demon, making the demon of anger furious, he said, 
we must quickly resolve this and return. While the sorrowful demon stabbed a spear into Genya, although he headshot him, he didn't die, and continued to attack Genya, thinking he was dead. Unexpectedly, he immediately shifted to the rear, intending to slash him, but he was hit by an electric shock from the anger demon and thrown into the wall by him. Nezuko also got kicked by the pleasure demon. Before he could celebrate, Nezuko immediately counterattacked. She immediately took his hand fan, and sending him flying into the sky. So this one quickly caught Nezuko and continued to control her, on the side of the demon Saro. He realized that Genya is very resilient, because no matter how much he is beaten, he still doesn't die. Genya continues to stand up and fight against him, on Tanjiro's side. He wanted to quickly resolve this one to return and protect Nezuko, since this demon kept flying back and forth over his head. So Tanjiro decided to lure him to chase after him, surprisingly, as he flew in intending to capture Tanjiro. He immediately jumped up and thrust his sword with all his strength into the demon's mouth, taking advantage of the him he soared straight to a house. Upon entering, he spotted Nezuko being restrained. Tanjiro became enraged run forward. When the demon attacked him, Tanjiro used the winged demon's leg to block the demon's sword. Due to sharing the same cells, he couldn't use lightning on his own body. Seizing the opportunity, Tanjiro struck the demon directly in the face, and he ran to pull out the pewter staff from Nezuko's body. Unexpectedly, the demon recovered and attacked Tanjiro from behind. Luckily, Nezuko immediately woke up and unleashed her blood demon art to burn him. But the pleasure demon returned, and used the hand fan to force both of them down to the ground, rendering Tanjiro and Nezuko in motionless. Inside the village, the demon fish were running rampant, seeking fresh meat. Meanwhile, Muichiro had found his blacksmith. He immediately asked him to give him a new sword, because his current sword is broken a lot, so he decided to guide Muichiro to the forge for a new sword. Suddenly, Muichiro noticed a nearby demon, who turned out to be the upper rank 5, Gyoko, and he's the one controlling the demon fish attacking the village, when the whole village didn't know how to fight against them. Luckily, Love Hashira arrived just in time. Just a few basic sword strikes took care of these fish. Meanwhile, the village chief was captured by a high-ranking demon fish. Even the demon slayers protecting him were killed. But when Mitsuri arrived, she immediately used her soft as silk sword, and easily annihilated all those demons. Therefore, Mitsuri successfully saved the village chief, on Tanjiro's side. As he regained consciousness, he saw Nezuko trying to carry him away from the demons, but they continued to be electrocuted by him. This time, Nezuko fainted, so Tanjiro carried Nezuko and fled away, while they continued to chase after him, so the pleasure demon blew both of them away. When they were searching for them, Nezuko was trapped inside a crumbling building, so she tried to cling to Tanjiro's sword, causing Nezuko's hand to bleed. On Gyoko's side, he is excitedly showcasing his art to Muichiro, showing off his masterpieces, and he has merged the blacksmiths here into a chaotic mess. You talk too much. Then, Muichiro immediately rushed in and aimed a straight slash at his neck. Fortunately, he managed to swiftly vanish. Muichiro immediately realized that he moved too fast, making Gyoko begin to get angry. He then commanded the fish in the basin to attack the two blacksmith. Therefore, Muichiro rushed to shield them, making himself look like a porcupine. So, Muichiro urged them to leave, that he could focus on fighting. Suddenly, he said Muichiro was only saving insignificant life making him vaguely remember his lost past, seeing this demon talk too much, so Muichiro instantly dashed in and strike straight for his neck, unexpectedly, he unleashed blood demon art, capturing him in a water sphere, Muichiro realized he couldn't pierce through this watery sphere, on Nezuko's side, she used blood demon art, causing Tanjiro's sword to ignite, suddenly, in his mind, he saw his ancestors from inherited memories, that swordsman also had an ignited sword similar to his own, hence, Tanjiro decided to return and confront these demons, seeing Tanjiro's burning sword, making the demon remember in Muzan's memory, resembling the one who once almost killed Muzan, Tanjiro's demon slayer mark surfaced. So, Tanjiro used the sun breathing, and swiftly beheaded a demon with the fast speed. When they tried to react, Tanjiro's sword had already severed their necks. By using the sun halo dragon head dance technique, Tanjiro killed three of them, only the fourth demon remained. Unexpectedly, Genya had already dealt with him simultaneously. Suddenly, Tanjiro saw Genya transforming into a demon, and all the upper rank 4 demons were defeated, but they were still alive. Tanjiro realized he couldn't kill them like the upper rank 6 demons, 
so Tanjiro immediately rushed to free Nezuko first. Suddenly, Tanjiro caught a whiff of the upper rank 4 demon scent and realized, could there still be a fifth demon? Meanwhile, Genya lost control again, seizing Tanjiro because previously he had defeated an upper rank, Genya says, I'm the one who will become the great pillar, so that's your dream, I and Nezuko will support you to the best of our abilities, which helped Genya regain his composure, suddenly, the demons recovered and attacked them again, so Tanjiro told Genya to hold them off. While Tanjiro searched for the fifth hidden demon, Nezuko and Genya were trying to hold them back, so Tanjiro caught the scent of the fifth demon, turns out, all this time, he had been hiding in fear in one corner, thus, Tanjiro immediately informed Genya, realizing his secret had been discovered, so they tried to stop Tanjiro, continuously preventing him from having a chance to escape, therefore, Nezuko also ran to help his older brother, unexpectedly, they pierced her stomach, pinning her to a tree. Seeing his sister injured, Tanjiro continued to use the flaming sword to attack them, surprising them, with his speed and strength this time, even stronger and faster than before. Meanwhile, Nezuko captured the sorrow demon and incinerated him. Tanjiro attacked the joyful demon but was pushed to the ground by him. Despite being held back by him, Tanjiro still indicated the fifth demon's location to Genya, through his scent. He thought he was very cool, unexpectedly. He was so tiny, making Genya uncomfortable because he has to catch this mouse. Although he is small, he is not easy to defeat, which resulted in Genya's sword being broken. Genya realized that no matter how he attacked, it's also impossible to harm him. Suddenly, the anger demon caught up. Genya thinks he's going to die, and would never catch up to his older brother, so he remembered his mother, when she used to shield them from their abusive father. But one day, despite waiting endlessly, their mother never returned. So Shinazu decided to replace everyone and search for their mother, however, despite the wait, no one ever returned. Suddenly, there was a shadow outside the door. Thinking it was their mother, they all ran to open the door. Unexpectedly, it was a demon who killed all of Genya's siblings. Fortunately, Shinazu managed to arrive in time to stop him. While Genya was in anguish running to find his older brother, he found out that Shinazu had killed their mother. It turns out she was a demon, so Genya always blamed his brother for killing their mother but now he regrets it, knowing that he is the one who suffers the most, and he always tries to keep Genya away from the demon slayers, thinking he was about die, unexpectedly, Tanjiro arrived in time to save him, you should strike him once more, surely you can do it, suddenly, another demon sneak attacked Tanjiro, unexpectedly, Genya jumped in to help him, causing more injuries to Genya's body, so Tanjiro immediately went to find the fifth demon and struck him, he directly struck his neck, Suddenly, another demon appeared. Tanjiro realized this was an entirely different demon, so he immediately knocked Tanjiro away. At this point, he created wooden dragons to attack Tanjiro. While he was in a perilous situation, Nezuko jumped in to save Tanjiro. He kept thinking he was the sixth demon, but he then realized the other demons were nowhere to be found. It turned out he was the amalgamation of four demons, joy, anger, pleasure, and sorrow. Because Genya witnessed him absorbing other demons, transforming into a demon fueled by hatred, so he protected his demon core. Suddenly, Tanjiro felt an immense pressure from him, rendering both him and Genya immobile. Yet, Tanjiro remained resolute, saying, I will definitely take your head. Immediately, he summoned the wooden dragons to attack Tanjiro. Meanwhile, Muichiro was still captured by the upper rank 5. He thought Muichiro was about to die, so he departed, despite Muichiro's efforts to escape being in vain. As he was about to give up, he saw Tanjiro, meanwhile, the upper rank 5 was about to butcher the blacksmith. Then, he noticed Hotaru still diligently sharpening Tanjiro's sword. Seeing this young man ignore him, immediately, it made him angry, continuously attacking him, despite having his mask cut off. Hotaru remained focused on sharpening the sword, for he aimed to craft a perfect blade. While Muichiro was contemplating giving up, the kid appeared suddenly, attempting to save Muichiro. Suddenly, a demon fish charged towards Katetsu, causing severe injuries, but Katetsu persisted towards to Muichiro, and blowing air into the water for him. At this moment, Muichiro comprehended Tanjiro's words. Helping others can be beneficial to oneself, so he used the mist breathing technique, breaking the boundaries of the upper rank 5. Finally, Muichiro recalled his own past. Realizing that his father had eyes resembling Tanjiro's, at this point, Muichiro was exhausted, but the school of demon fish continued to attack Muichiro, 
Suddenly, he recalled memories of his father, it turns out Muichiro's father was also a woodcutter, and he enjoyed helping others, however, his mother suffered from a severe illness, so Muichiro's father went up the mountain to gather medicinal herbs, unexpectedly, he slipped away, so both Muichiro's parents passed away, fortunately, Muichiro still had a twin brother, who named as Yuchiro, but Yuchiro was strict and cold towards Muichiro, suddenly, one day while fetching water, he encountered a girl, she informed them about the demon slayer core, however, Yuchiro chased the girl away, while Muichiro was very interested in joining them, this angered Yuchiro, scolding Muichiro as an useless person, so focus on the present life, unexpectedly, one day, a demon appeared, when it was about to attack Muichiro, Yuchiro immediately shielded him, resulting in Yuchiro losing an arm, that made Muichiro gone mad, when he calmed down, he realized he had slain that demon, upon Muichiro's return, he found Yuchiro in distress, but he was still praying for his younger brother's safety, Muichiro then realized his elder brother's constant care for him, by recollecting everything, Muichiro managed to activate the demon slayer mark, and he swiftly dealt with the school of fish to save Kitetsu, even the upper rank 5's attacks, that couldn't stop Hotaru from sharpening the sword, Muichiro then appeared behind and attacked him, astonishing him with his escape, so, he immediately released the octopus to smash the warehouse, and capturing Muichiro, however, he easily escaped, at this point, Muichiro's strength had changed, he used mist breathing to swiftly rush at him with the incredible speed, even though he managed to teleport it at the right time, he narrowly avoided being defeated, he immediately retaliated against Muichiro, at this moment, Muichiro recalled his brother, granting him additional strength to strike the upper rank demon, the upper rank 5, on the other hand, is very angry, because he's constantly overwhelmed by Muichiro, he couldn't believe Muichiro could hit his neck, suddenly, Muichiro played a psychological trick, he immediately mocked that his flask was defective, enraging him and summoning thousands of fish to attack Muichiro, unexpectedly, by using the sixth form, Muichiro managed to overwhelm all of his fish, at this point, Muichiro continued using the third form, swiftly attacking him with incredible speed, unexpectedly, he could molt, and reveal his true form, so he immediately rushed to counterattack Muichiro, surprisingly, just getting hit, everything turned everything into fish, at this point, he was very confident in his invincible abilities, however, Muichiro said that, no matter how strong you are, if you can't hit, it's meaningless, this made him angry, he continuously attacked Muichiro with incredible speed, surprisingly, Muichiro was even faster than him, he kept disappearing and reappearing in the mist, thus, he couldn't land a hit on Muichiro, consequently, he got slashed in the neck, made him unable to believe he was struck, he insulted Muichiro as a lowly creature, resulting in him being turned into minced fish by Muichiro. Finally, Muichiro emerged victorious, at this moment, Muichiro is trying to appear as if he's okay, then he immediately passed out, meanwhile, Hotaru was still focusing on sharpening his sword, Tanjiro was still battling the upper rank 4 demon, he continuously directed the dragon's head to attack all three of them, he even managed to wield all the abilities of the upper rank 4 demons, Tanjiro realized there was no more time, suddenly, he is caught by him and swallowed into his mouth, while still restraining Nezuko and Genya, he was squeezing Tanjiro, thinking he had won, unexpectedly, Mitsuri appeared just in time, she immediately split his dragon, rescuing Tanjiro, at this point, she intended to continue rescuing Nezuko and Genya, so, he attacked her, but Mitsuri, with just a few basic moves, she managed to handle his dragons, surprisingly, she advised him to release Nezuko, so he proceeded to insult her, calling her a pig, he then resumed attacking Mitsuri, she promptly used the breath of love to fend him off, which surprising Tanjiro, because the unbelievable Mitsuri's strength, suddenly, he became serious, he employed blood demon art, he added a few more dragon heads to play with Mitsuri, Nevertheless, she was able to rush in and deal with all of them, when she was rushing to attack the upper rank 4, Tanjiro informed to her, he is not the original, however, he unleashed a sonic attack on Mitsuri, suddenly, he realized that, she managed to stiffen her body in time, to reduce the damage, as he intended to finish Mitsuri off, she recollected her past, it turned out that Mitsuri had been consistently rejected before, no one wanted to marry her, from a young age, Mitsuri was very strong, and even had a big appetite, her parents were proud of her, they took Mitsuri to arm wrestling matches, however, as she grew up, 
Nobody paid any attention to Mitsuri. So, Mitsuri decided to dye her hair black, just to find someone to marry, but she realized that, this wasn't her true self. Fortunately, the group arrived in time to rescue Mitsuri. She realized that there were still people who cared about her. He unleashed a lightning attack on them. Surprisingly, Mitsuri managed to block it. She realized that the demon slayers were where she belonged, and that Obanai was very concerned about her. So she decided to stand up, and continue fighting him. Tanjiro's group searched for his main body. He immediately sniffed to locate the main body's position. Meanwhile, the upper rank 4 demon couldn't catch Mitsuri. He realized she had the demon slayer mark. Tanjiro's group found the main body, but they couldn't break his protective layer. So Genya transformed into a demon and bit the tree bark. Turns out, when he consumes demon flesh, he temporarily gains their abilities. When they separated him, Nezuko burned the protective layer. So Tanjiro also used the sun breathing and split it in two. But they finding nothing inside, turns out, he was hiding behind, so they immediately chased after him, while the upper rank 4 was fleeing. Nezuko continued the pursuit him. Tanjiro realized Don was approaching. The demons would soon escape, but his leg was injured. Suddenly, Tanjiro remembered. Zenitsu once taught him how to use the breath of thunder, so, he immediately rushed towards a high-speed pace. He used the sun-breathing technique to strike his neck. Unexpectedly, the upper rank 4 demon was hiding his true strength. He suddenly grew larger, grabbing Tanjiro. Then, he used sound to attack them all. Nezuko immediately rushed in to burn him. Genya helped Tanjiro pull his hand. Thanks to that, Tanjiro was able to gather strength and slash at his neck. Surprisingly, he moved back, causing both to fall down the cliff. He managed to escape. Nearly defeated, he continued fleeing. Suddenly, he spotted three blacksmiths from the village. So he immediately chased after them, intending to devour them to regain strength. Meanwhile, Tanjiro was planning to chase after him. Suddenly, Muichiro managed to throw a new sword for him. It turned out that Hotaru had finished sharpening the sword. Therefore, Tanjiro immediately unleashed his sun-breathing technique, and swiftly lunged to strike directly at the demon neck. A single blow sent his head flying off. Suddenly, Tanjiro saw the sunrise, and realized Nezuko was in grave danger. However, to his surprise, she didn't attempt to escape. Nezuko had spotted the upper rank pursuing the others. At that moment, Tanjiro recognized his mistake. He had attacked the demon's shell. When he intended to catch him, the rising sun shone on Nezuko. This caused her body to burn. Tanjiro immediately shaded Nezuko from the sun. Despite this, the demon persisted in chasing and capturing them. He was forced to make a difficult choice. Protect Nezuko or save everyone else. Suddenly, Nezuko kicked him away. It turned out she wanted Tanjiro to save the others. Even though her own body was burning in the sunlight. In that moment, Tanjiro recalled all the time spent together with Nezuko. She's always by your side, supporting him, and she's your only sister left in this world. So, he could not betray Nezuko's trust. He rushes to sniff out the scent. Determining the demon's exact location, Tanjiro swiftly moves in and strikes him, causing the demons have to show his fact. Thus, Tanjiro strikes again. At this moment, the upper rank 4 remembers his past, realizing he used to torment and kill others, thus was sentenced to execution, until Muzan intervened, turning him into a demon. Finally, Tanjiro manages to decapitate him, destroying him in flames. But Tanjiro became desperate, because he couldn't protect Nezuko. While Tanjiro was in immense pain, he sees Nezuko walking safely under the sunlight. She can also take the bamboo shoot out of her mouth and talk. Instantly made Tanjiro very happy. Because his younger sister is still safe. I'm fine now. So Tanjiro feels happiness, embracing her. But now Tanjiro is exhausted. While Mitsuri continues fighting this demon. When she's in grave danger, unexpectedly, he's incinerated. Because Tanjiro has won, bringing joy to Mitsuri. Knowing she can still find a husband. Meanwhile, Muzan this moment. He is feeling deeply frustrated and realizing the demon he's seeking has appeared. A demon unafraid of the sun, made him very excited and transformed, because he no longer needs to look for the blue spider lily. Just consuming Nezuko's flesh grants him immortality, and he slaughtered his entire family. As it turns out, centuries ago, Muzan was afflicted with a severe illness, predicting his death at the age of 20. So, a physician created a special medicine to save him, but he realizes his illness remains incurable, leading him to frustratingly kill the physician. Unexpectedly, at this moment, the medicine becomes effective, granting him extraordinary strength, yet, he discovers he can't walk under the sunlight. 
and from then on, he begins to crave human flesh. Muzan still desires immortality for himself, so he searches for the special medicine of the hermit physician, the blue spider lily. However, his search everywhere proves futile in finding this flower. But now, he has found Nezuko, simply by absorbing her. There's no need for any more medication. At this moment, seeing Tanjiro's group safe, brings joy to Muichiro, Mitsuri, equally thrilled, rushes in to embrace them all. Unexpectedly witnessing Nezuko unafraid of the sun, brings Mitsuri immense happiness too. Now, Tamayo also discovers, that Nezuko's blood is incredibly unique, capable of helping demons regain control away from Muzan's influence. So, she writes a letter informing Tanjiro about this. At this point, Tanjiro prepares to bid everyone farewell. But Hotaro remains deeply upset with Tanjiro. Surprisingly, the entire village gathers to bid farewell to Tanjiro together. Today's video ends here. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, to support Oni-chan in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching, much love.